primary burn box, you have basically what you would call standard wood stove burning technology. There's a burn going in there. And then from that, you get gases emitted just like you do up your flue. This in old fashioned wood stoves cause, cause creosote and, and whatnot. And what they do is they reignite those gases in a secondary chamber and burn them off. So you burn that creosote and a whole bunch of other things off in advance of it leaving the stack. So here's your traditional equivalent of a wood stove in your house box. The burn does not go up. In other words, the smoke doesn't travel up like in a traditional wood stove. There's a slot in here that'll suck it down into this uh, ceramic chamber. And then air is reintroduced in that ceramic chamber. There's some holes just sort of right in the middle as it's come, as, the, as the flue gas is going down into there. And that air reignites with no apparent fuel source, it reignites. And um, it gets to be about 1800 to 2000 degrees in that ceramic. The car wash um, has heated floors. Most people don't realize that. And so not only are you having to heat the water for the car wash in the winter time, you have to heat the floors only up to around 40, 50 degrees, keep it from freezing around 50 degrees. But every car wash north of like New York or even Pennsylvania has to have a heated floor because otherwise it would ice all up. A 200,000 BTU boiler, which to make it real, is about a really large house size, you know, which would be, you know, your average home times two size for heating this, and it's about the size of this will heat. Um, this is the same size that we have at the Knoll Farm. So this unit is super high tech in that um, cord wood all has a different amount of water in it, and each one burns at a different rate as it's burning it changes, versus like pellets that burn the same almost from the beginning to the end, you know, so you don't really have to um, change the way it burns through the cycle. So most people put up with burning this just, you know, at a straight rate. You know, they throw it in a wood stove and they set it and they might adjust it once and then that's it. But the problem is you need to change it through the whole burn so that you get the most energy out of it. Because this will give you the most energy if it's burned at a certain rate, basically. So the computer, and there's a laptop-sized computer up under this hood that senses the oxygen content, um, CO2 content leaving the stack and temperature, and it will then adjust the fan speed, it pulls air through the system, and then it will adjust these two dampers down here to uh, the right air um, volume for the two different burning chambers, that's why there's two of them. This is just a quick um, layout of the Von Trapp, um, which we'll see when we go up there, and so basically it's what you call small scale district heating. That building right there um, is a cheese making facility. Um, so there are underground pipes running from the wood gasification boiler, which is in this building right here. This unit is very unique. It's uh, made in America, and it's designed by a guy in the Midwest, and designed in 1982, and it's refined it several times, and it's uh, widely accepted. Uh, it's used, you know, quite a few places. The reason this unit is so large is that it is heating multiple buildings, and it's also making processing water. Processing water is uh, water that's used in some form of manufacturing, uh, 